I'm tired of the lies that are getting spread around Barcelona. Every time I hear some rumors, it ends up being a lie. Every day there is still rumors. None of them are true. Maximum you will find one that it ends up being true. Because this morning, I woke up to the rumors of Barcelona can't register Dani Olmo. Even that four players left club with Mikael Faye, Victor Roque, Longley and Gundogan, we still can't register him. Does that make any sense? No. Right now, right now, at this moment, it's been confirmed that Dani Olmo will be registered today. So from this morning to now, how the f*** does that make sense? I can't believe any f***ing journalist from now on. I don't give f*** about any journalist. Who the f*** are these journalists that bring this false news? I can't f***ing keep up with this club and this mother involved in these lies. Either La Porta, Deco or this journalist. Who the f*** are they? I'm being honest in here. Who the f*** are they? Where the f*** do they bring their news from? If it's from the club, then... If they create them from their imaginations, then that's something else. Again, it's been confirmed that Danny Olmo will be registered. Happy for that. So satisfied. At least a player that we paid 60 million for need to play. We can't just put a 60 million player in the stand. No, no. Okay, no. He's playing against Rayu Vaikan. Hopefully, again, these news are true. With the registration, you know how the f they did it? He said because of Chris Sensen in his injury. Isn't that motherfucker injured for three weeks? It's not like he, he's injured for six months. What the fuck are we doing? Someone explain to me this. Is this another lie when it comes to Chris Sensen that he's been injured for only three weeks? Is this the same situation that happened with De Jong is happening with Chris Sensen? We started with three weeks and we are still waiting for De Jong to come back. It's been more than three months. What? Please someone explain this to me. It says three weeks. So now when Chris Sensen comes back, he wants to be registered or what? And again, with another lie, is that the one one rule? Because that rule, Laporta came out, I think last month, I made a video reacting to him saying that Barcelona will come back to the one and one rule. Or not Laporta said it, but probably rumors. So I can't be wrong. Again, some random journalist that no one gives a f who even they are said that Barcelona will come back to the one and one rule for signing a deal with Nike or something like this. Yeah. Nothing of that is happening. It's not even closer to be signed. The one in one rule, we ain't achieving it. It's been f***ing four years and there is every year a rumor that Barcelona will come back to the one in one rule. We are basically still struggling financially. And for the signing of Chiesa, my opinion is that Chiesa won't sign for Barcelona because he don't have a guarantee that he will be signed. Because if we sold four players and pushed a player out of the squad because of his injury to sign Dani Olmo, what the are we gonna do with Kies? So yeah, there is no guarantee that he will be registered. Same thing that happened with Nico Williams. I'm pretty sure that Nico Williams didn't want to sign with Barcelona because there is no guarantee. So for him to be registered is actually difficult, judging by how we are handling the Danny Olmo situation and registration. So yeah, how can any player sign for us? Why any player want to sign for us? And I'm not speaking that why anyone wants to play for us as we are like a bad club. No, we are one of the best clubs in the world. Everyone wants to play for us. It's understandable. I'm not speaking about that side of the discussion. I'm speaking about the other side. I'm speaking about no guarantees for you to play, which is the simple thing that a player should get. And I still don't understand the situation with Barcelona and the registration. Is it with La Liga? Is it with that mother Javier Tebas. Again, I don't understand this because every time I hear an explanation, it ends up being wrong. Basically, the fans deserve the truth. That's all I'm asking for. I don't want to end up being surprised by a fucking lie. I don't want to end up being surprised by the fucking fact that we are broke. We can't sign a player. We can't register a player. A player is injured longer than what the reports are saying. And again, with these journalists, can they please shut the up if they are not 100% sure about what they are saying. That's all I'm asking for. Every day there is a new rumor that doesn't make any sense. For example, this one. Neymar has been offered to Barcelona, but Flick rejected it. I'm pretty sure that Neymar wasn't offered to Barcelona. I'm not a journalist. I don't know shit, but I'm pretty sure that's what's happened. Flick didn't reject anyone. And yeah, if you're surprised, brother, no. No, don't be surprised. It's August. We always have rumors about Neymar coming back to Barcelona. And again, I'm not hating on the team. The team is doing a great job. Players performing good. Flick, amazing job. 10 out of 10 job. Maybe some changes. Maybe some players need to come back. But again, the team is doing an amazing job. I'm not hating on them. I'm happy for them. I'm speaking about the club and the lies and Deco and Laporta and the journalists. Everyone else are just lying and a mess. And we ain't achieving anything lately when it comes to success as a club. Not as a team. As a 
team we are doing amazing. As a club, we are doing awful. 